Hey all, welcome to Share Trek. This is Raj here. Uh, friends, today at the request of one of our subscribers, I decided to uh, take a look into BioNano Genomics uh, once again. Uh, I had mixed feelings about Illumina's Grail obsessions while reading up on BioNano. So stick around uh, to the end to understand the details. Uh, that said, we need to grow this channel to reach 5,000 subs and your help is very much uh, appreciated. Please subscribe if you have not already done so. And if possible, recommend this channel to a friend who might be interested in this kind of content that we have out here. Uh, with that said, let's get started. Welcome back friends. BioNano's uh, flagship optical genome mapping system called SAFIR has been uh, uh, proven in many studies to be better at finding differences in DNA structure compared to regular tools. Uh, these differences can be a major cause of disease, uh, so SAFIR is helping researchers find important information uh, more easily, uh, which can lead to developing cures for illnesses. Uh, it has been found that SAFIR can help uh, healthcare professionals diagnose more patients accurately and sooner. What's great about Sapphire is that it takes less time and effort to use compared to the standard tools used for DNA analysis. During the company's uh, earnings call on May 9, CEO Erica Homlin mentioned that uh, their focus this year is to demonstrate how effective Sapphire is in diagnosing, uh, diagnosing blood cancers. They see this as a big opportunity for the company in the near future. Excitingly, uh, studies have already shown that optical genome mapping system can find differences in DNA structure in blood cancer patients that uh, regular tools cannot find. And friends, uh, SAFIR is based on uh, optical genome map uh, mapping or OGM, uh, whereas uh, the other systems that we have seen from Illumina and um, uh, PACB, they have used uh, different technologies. So let's take a pause here and unpack what we have learned so far. Well, Sapphire has proven better at sequencing some hard-to-reach areas of the genome that uh, long- and short-reach systems are unable to. I would consider Sapphire as an add-on on top of uh, uh, existing systems for detailed specialized work. While looking at genomic sequencing machines, a few more parameters are critical and those are cost and time taken. Uh, it's difficult to have a system that excels in all counts. Uh, so uh, that way, Sapphire definitely seems indispensable and it's going to be an add-on on top of uh, long read and short read systems. Next, if uh, Sapphire is great at diagnosing blood cancer and does not use Illumina technology, then the entire Grail lawsuit with FTC and uh, EU authorities uh, is a head scratcher. We have proof that Illumina does not um, uh, become monopolistic with the acquisition of Grail and that other genomic sequences are equally capable of diagnosing blood cancer uh, if uh, Sapphire uh, succeeds in demonstrating uh, its ability to uh, diagnose blood cancer uh, to the payees and gets recognition with the FDA. On the reimbursement front, individual labs are getting reimbursed for their use of Sapphire, uh, while the company intends to seek coverage uh, of the system from Medicare and FDA approval of uh, the device so that uh, there can be a higher uptake of reimbursement. Once approved by FDA and Medicare, most insurers will uh, cover the use of Sapphire if the device was approved by the FDA. Bionano intends to have preliminary pre-submission discussions with FDA by the end of this year for the Sapphire system. If approved, they could be a positive catalyst for BioNano stocks. Uh, in the earnings report on March 6, BioNano said that it uh, now has uh, 240 Sapphire systems in the installed base. This is a 46% increase from the same period a year ago. Uh, this was up from the 217 installed systems at the end of uh, the third quarter of 2022 as well. However, revenues were up only 30% from uh, fourth quarter of 2021 uh, and uh, reached 8.2 million, a bit shy of the estimates uh, that were there from the street. Uh, for the year, uh, the, the company delivered $27.8 million in sales, above leadership's guidance of $24 million to $27 million earlier in FY 2022. BioNano sold 4,781 uh, nano-channel array flow cells in the fourth quarter, which was up 49% from fourth quarter 2021. Uh, and for the year, the company sold 15,375 flow cells, a 23% improvement from FY 2021 when they had sold around 10,000 10, uh, flow cells. When we look at cash and cash equivalents available for uh, 
uh, and available for sale securities uh, at the end of uh, March 31, 2023, uh, it stood at around 95.8 million uh, compared to cash and cash equivalents available for sale and uh, securities as of uh, uh, December 31, 2022, which stood at 113.2 million. So there has been a drop in the cash balance uh, in the company. First quarter 2023 gap operating expense was 39.9 million compared with 30.8 million in the first quarter of 2022. This means that the company will run out of cash by the year end. However, at the Q1 earnings release, uh, the company announced that they are uh, giving thought uh, to a strategic review to reduce cash expenses in Q2 and rest of the quarters by around $20 million. So I think investors should keep in mind that though BioNanogenomics has a great future and its revenue is increasing, in the short term, there is a risk of equity dilution. At the time of recording this segment, the market capital of uh, BN market capitalization of BioNanogenomics was only $203.4 million. So it's a small company operating in a difficult environment. And the share price is at around uh, 65 cents uh, per share. So that's, uh, that's a good chance of equity dilution before the end of this year if the current trends uh, persist. So that's what you have to keep in mind. So before we uh, finish this video, let us take a quick look at the price chart before we uh, wind up. So let me take you to the TradingView platform. Well, here we are in our uh, TradingView platform looking at uh, BioNanogenomics. And friends, as you can see, uh, at one point of time, uh, that was somewhere around August 20, uh, 2022, uh, in the middle of August 2022, BioNanogenomics was at a peak of $4.36. Since then, since then, it has been falling. And at this point of time, at the close of market on 15th of May, uh, it stood at 66 uh, cents uh, per share. And if I look at the price chart, each of these uh, candles are one day candle. And you will see that the momentum is very low. Uh, the MACD is also tending towards the signal line to go into the bearish side. And we have a formation out here. If I was just going to take a trend line from here, I'm just going to explore this a little bit so that it looks uh, bigger. And if I draw a line here, I pull it down a little bit. So this seems to be the floor for the share. And it is sitting at around uh, 60 cents. And we have uh, a head out here. We have a shoulder out here. So if we bounce back tomorrow, then we can say that there's a reverse head and shoulder formation. And that would be a bullish sign. Uh, but we don't know if it's going to happen or not. And um, also in terms of uh, uh, earnings, even though they had a revenue beat, uh, the earnings uh, per share uh, was negative by 14.79. So that's definitely going to have a little bit of uh, negative sentiment for the shares. But um, considering the fact that it's, uh, it's got a product in the market and it's generating revenue, that's a positive. But if you compare BioNanogenomics in terms of its market capitalization, you'll see here uh, that its market capitalization is only 203.09 million uh, US dollars. So it's a very, very small company. It has got only one machine. It has got a unique uh, technology, which is uh, optical uh, genome mapping, or OGM. So when you compare that with companies like PACB, uh, which has a market capitalization, uh, which is, um, let us look at the market capitalization here, which is uh, $3.01 billion. Or if you look at Illumina, which has got a market capitalization of 32.98 billion, you can understand how small uh, BioNanogenomics is. And when the company is small, uh, there is the possibility of the company being taken over uh, by other uh, big companies. If uh, optical genomic mapping uh, is a technology that's a must have, then one of these big companies can just take over BioNanogenomics and incorporate the technology into their uh, own ecosystem and provide an add-on facility. So that's where I think uh, personally, uh, BioNanogenomics might be headed, uh, especially given the fact that their cash burn is more than their revenue intake. Therefore, they are likely to uh, come across a strategic uh, decision that they may need to take before the end of the year. Either they are taken over by the likes of Illumina or PSCB or some other big uh, company, or um, they issue more equity shares and dilute the equity. So that's what I think is in store for uh, BioNanogenomics. And friends, that brings me to an end of this video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do not hesitate to press the like out there so that the YouTube uh, algorithm can then uh, show this to other viewers who are who are a similar profile. That helps the channel. 
and of course uh, please do not uh, hesitate to subscribe if you haven't done so already please uh, help grow this channel thanks and have a great day bye for now